So, my dad has this friend named Ulysses, and he purchased this big movie camera, and his plan was to make a movie. So, where's the movie? And I heard he paid $50,000 for that camera. No, he didn't. He just got it off of eBay used. His first movie was titled Mediator. And oh, your wife. She's young, hot, a dime. He never even finished it. Never finished it? I finished it? I heard he pitched it to the movie channel Stars. Yeah, and see, that's what the problem was. They just passed on it. And another one was titled Hope. It's not a movie. It's a movie. It's a short movie. It's only five minutes. I can't eat popcorn in five minutes. So that means it is not a movie. It was a short movie about a married guy who couldn't stop cheating. Hold up. Wait a minute. What do you think that movie's about? To clear the air, that movie is not about me. I think it's about dad. I repeat, hope is not about me. When my dad's voice gets really high, it's not about me. He's usually struggling with the truth. <laughs> it's not about me. It may not be about dad, but the jury's still deliberating. Okay, hope is not about Tom. And it's not about me either. It doesn't matter. In the midst of a global pandemic with a thumbs up from my dad, a masked Ulysses is following us around with his big movie camera. He must be COVID bored with nothing else to do. And action. Dad, she's Asian. Shh, she's gonna hear you. That's a racist thing to say. It's not racist, just a fact. Asian people dot black people all the time. That's white people. We're making a movie. It's not a movie. It's a big movie camera. It's more than five minutes long. It's a movie, but the only question, will he finish it? It's not a movie. More like a reality show about two girls being raised by their black dad. Daddy's more like a beige dad. Who's recently divorced and single. Wait, mom and dad are divorced? His goal, to prepare his daughters for the day that we leave the nest. When were they divorced? Personally, I think his goal is to protect us from men like himself, like in the movie. The movie is not about me. It's not. Still deliberating. Of course I know mom and dad are divorced. Ulysses told me to do that for a, a dramatic effect. That is when a dramatic change or event happens suddenly. Wait, mom and dad are divorced and is very noticeable. And surprising, to be honest, if you didn't know. I guess you can say this is a show about Ulysses' big red movie camera that's actually black and how many credits that he can give to himself. satellite radar this morning, quiet and calm conditions across the state. And as we put the future cast into motion, that weather sticks around today into tomorrow with clear skies and not a drop of rain or snow in sight. The world is so... I just want to protect my daughters. From? this awful world. The negative thoughts are detrimental, Tom, to your mood, your health, your happiness. I mean, you name it. Look, there's not enough time to prepare my daughters for what's coming. I know that sounds negative, but it's just the truth. But what's coming? It's not this awful world you can conquer, Tom. It's yourself. Is this mink? Fable. Hannah is the girl's mentor. I thought it would be good for them after the divorce. I get it, you fear upsetting your dad. 
No, I'm not afraid of upsetting him. Yes, you are. I just don't need him to fix it. How do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, my dad's not a listener. He's a fixer. He bypasses listening and goes straight to fix it mode. I agree. But the main reason is you like Ryan. Boom, mic drop. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Do you ever take the high road? No, it's too boring. You don't want dad getting mad at Ryan. You're such a rat. Ouch. Okay, before Ryan called you that name, did you like Ryan? Well, maybe I did like him, but now I see who he really is. Words don't have power to hurt you unless the person saying them means something to you. Was I hurt? No. Why? Just take the high road. Because Ryan means nothing to you. I must admit, my sister's pretty good. The whole pause, take that high road thing. Yeah, I know where she got that. Our motto is, when they go low, we go high. Should I ask your mom to be part of this project? Including her mom is a good thing. Do we have a good relationship? It's not too bad. T002 is to a higher degree than is desirable, permissible, or possible. So when my dad says that his relationship with my mom isn't too bad, He's trying to say that it is bad. Okay, fine. My relationship with their mom is bad. It's horrible. But in the best interest of our girls, it's important that we set aside our differences. Hold up. Wait a minute. He actually said that? Let's put it to rest. Their mom will not be participating in this show, movie, whatever this is. We need a mom. How in the world are we going to do this without a mom? And the audience will be wondering, where the heck is their mom? If I can convince their mom that this project was their brainchild, just maybe, just maybe. So you're going to lie to her? That's kind of harsh. No, it's kind of a lie, Dad. What's the harm in calling her? and letting her know this is your project. Fine, Amy Cooper. There is an African-American man. He is recording me, threatening myself and my dog. Calling for backup, over. Please send the cops immediately. Copy, 1430 hours. Wait, wait, wait. This is a movie, right? This is not a movie. Yes, it is. Last year girl wasn't really Jack Jack's mom. Stop! Everybody stop! Yes, she is. No, she's not. Who? The Incredibles. Tanya wasn't really a Kila's mom. There's nobody around to take me. That's cause I work. Angela Bassett. Right. This is crazy. Hey, you didn't even eat. Can we just find someone else to be our mom? Ulysses, Ulysses, um, what's the word for when Hollywood Searches for an actor to play a role. Casting. Oh, okay. Casting a mom for this show is ridiculous, but it's Ava, so whatever. It's called casting, Dad. Every movie that needs a mom, cast mom. That's just how it works. You want to cast a mom? Welcome to the movie business. <laughs> I'll handle it, I will. Your sister's quiet today. 
Ryan called her the N-word. What? Forget mom casting. The N-word? Really? Ryan is only 11. I know his parents. He was at our home last week. I gave the kid a Gatorade. Remember the Washington game about three weeks ago? That was six weeks ago. That was six weeks ago? I was there. You were there? Is there an echo in here? Yes, I was there. Down by seven with a minute and a half to go. You miss the front end of a one and one Ryan gets the rebound, dishes back towards you. You get a fadeaway mid-range jumper. All nets. You're fouled. Personally, I thought it was a bad call. And the fade, a dumb move. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. You step up to the free throw line, nets. Now only down by four. Full court press, Ryan steals, you're all step. Now only down by two. Time out. And? I went to get nachos. Missed the ending. Did you win? You know we didn't win. Without Ryan, it wouldn't have been close. I see where this is going. You heard what Ryan called me, and you need him for tomorrow's game. But after the game, I'm done with him. Look, I'm not asking you to do this. I know, I know. Just one more game. Not gonna say hi. What is this? Shopping spree. Shopping spree. What's the excuse this time? Online school's been tough. G's been struggling. Was. She's doing great now. So you're celebrating? Yeah. What's wrong with celebrating? Did you feed your daughters last night, Tom? Did I do what? Of course you did. Knowing you, probably full course meal, including dessert. What a dad. Oh, did you pay your child support this month? How about last month? Did I pay my child support? Knowing you, you probably paid it on time. Did you? Of course you did. Probably every month. Amazing dad. We should celebrate. Throw you a dad of the decade party. <laughs> Feeding your daughters every night and paying your child support on time every month? Wow. Let's go all out for your party. Balloons, confetti, live music, the whole nine. That's ridiculous. What is? Celebrating and rewarding someone for doing what they're supposed to do? Only pat the baby when it's sleeping. Shopping spree! My job is trying to play a character that will convince people that I'm that person. Being an actor is the first thing that I remember wanting to do in life. Every single character an actor takes on, they need to treat that person as if they were real. You need more than Google just to find me. What you doing? You know there's a doorbell. James just walks in the house like he owns the place. I am done with it. <sighs> I'm in the living room. What you doing? Trying to find a mom. Don't you have a mom already? I need another. Wait. Moms can be replaced? It's for the movie you're starring in right now. Stop acting like you don't see that huge movie camera. You know, you're ruining the suspension of disbelief. That's the second time you've rolled your eyes. Boys, don't do that. 
You ruined the suspension of disbelief with all your eye rolls. Can we just get on with the scene? Get on with it. You get on with it. You need more than Google to survive. <laughs> Yes, Gianna told me, but I told you from the very start, I am never going to tell you what the girls and I discuss. But this is different. <laughs> there is no different. Tom, there is a reason why Gianna didn't tell you. The only reason? Your daughter don't like you, bro. Don't trust you, don't want your help. My daughter always come to me, no matter how big or small. I'm not comparing, I'm just saying. I don't even know this guy. I think his name is Keith. His character was created to stir my emotions. What, Tom? You're not supposed to say that. I just don't want her to end up pregnant. Wait a minute, something ain't right. I wouldn't hang with this fool. Oh, like Karen? What? She did get pregnant, right? Yo, bro, don't talk about my daughter. You don't know her. Apparently, you don't know her either. You don't know me like that. I love my grandbaby. You sure you're raising him, right? Whoa, I'm not some little white boy named Ryan, mother Please, I'll bust your in this fucking show. This is crazy, and it's all happening because Ava is a snitch. And you are an awful writer, and that is why Stars fired you. I was not fired. I was laid off. Lionsgate acquired stars, and I was laid off. Trust me, Lionsgate kept the talented people. I stopped the fight. It wasn't even a fight. I stopped it before the first punch was even thrown. So relax. This casting a mom thing, it's not easy. Acting skills. Comes with it. Exactly. We need a mom that's easy to work with. Able to take direction. A must. Ability to act the way I want her to. That doesn't sound like a mom at all. Looks aren't important. They're not? You don't want your dad to cheat on your fake mom. For the last time, this movie is not about my dad. And how does James know about this? This movie's not for kids. He watched it? Walk him down. Walk him down. Must be a good cook. Hard to mess up pancakes. Helps if she was born with the ability to perform. So you're looking for an actor who was born on stage, not in a hospital? Exactly. You need more than Google just to find me. I put it up. Let's go. I know Ava told my dad about Ryan, but this just shows how much my dad likes to protect a snitch. Let's go. Gee, let me holler at you real quick. If someone called you a giraffe, what would you do? Look at them exactly how I'm looking at you. What about an elephant, bird, pig, or a monkey? A monkey. Was that even supposed to make sense? What's with the monkey? Oh, the H&M monkey hoodie. H&M has apologized after using a black child to model a sweatshirt with the logo coolest monkey in the jungle. I know you're not an elephant, bird, pig, or monkey. So it shouldn't bother you if somebody called you an elephant, bird, pig, or monkey. But it does bother me and it's not okay. You're right, it's not okay. Is there something you want to talk to me about? Why does the friend require a barbell and a pull-up bar? The friend? The CrossFit exercise? A monkey? Did dad call her a monkey? There's no way dad would call her a monkey. That's awesome. Did you listen to Gianna? I'm disappointed 
because we're so close. I talk about everything. But do you listen? How do I fix it if she won't talk to me? It's called ineffective communication. Okay, how do I get them to effectively communicate? It's not them, Tom. It's you. Look, knowing how to authentically listen and show empathy can do wonders for any relationship. You've made this unfortunate experience in your daughter's life about you. So are, are you here to talk about G's feelings being hurt or your feelings being hurt? Am I hurt? Okay. Maybe a little. They're my little girls. And look at them. They're amazing. Any affirmation you need, it's right there. Just be patient, Tom. And listen when she's ready to talk. Beautiful ring. Did you get engaged? <laughs> no. Just like to treat myself. We go zero to one hundred real quick. We go zero to one hundred real quick. Hey, he's just here to get the girls a few things. You know where it is. So this therapist life coach is she white does it matter of course it does oh it doesn't tell me did her phd from stanford go to stanford prepare stanford. her to understand the inner feelings deep-seated emotions and justifiable anger of a black man being called the n-word by a white man i wasn't called the n-word my daughter was so chill with the white therapy life coach never said she was white stop combing the streets for answers tom this is not about you not about your $600 per hour white therapy. Life coach never said she was white. Never said I paid $600. Sure you did. No, I didn't. Whatever. Only one person matters. Gianna. Talk to her. Talk to your daughter, Tom. And then listen to her. This little white boy, Ryan, is only preparing G for this country we hold so dear. You mad at Kanye? Chris Brown? How about Jay-Z? Dude, Django Unchained is your favorite movie. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell you think you're doing, boy? Get that nigger out of here! This little boy should be 109 inwards delinquent of your attention. Call it inward immunity. How old are you? <laughs> you should be immune by now. 109 times in that movie, really? Don't miss the point, beige man. Beige man? It's kind of Tiger Woods hard to call you a black man. Are you concerned about typecasting? What? Are you concerned about typecasting? I'm more concerned about you being concerned about me being concerned about something I've never heard of. Ulysses, have you heard of typecasting? Yes, I've heard of typecasting. Um, hello, the suspension of disbelief. Can we just stick with the script? Typecasting is the process by which a particular actor becomes strongly identified with a specific character. Since this is my first time casting mom, I'm not concerned. You might have a mom, she might be the bomb, but ain't nobody mm, that's got a mom one. like mine. Oh my gosh, I have so many followers. Like, my phone is blowing up. Like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Kim K just followed me? Yes. Anyways, I dream of beautiful children. Curly hair, big brown eyes, beautiful little faces to light up my Instagram feed and increase my followers. Uh, 
Well, what if your children are not beautiful? I would give them up for adoption and try again. Sit down. Sit your ass down. Sit down. Don't make me say nothing else to you. Hey, babies. Hey, how are you guys? Yes. Oh, aren't y'all the cutest little things? Look, beige girl. Look, white boy. Yes, indeed. Now, look, babies. I'm old school, okay? And I believe in old school discipline. I believe in the belt. The Bible says, spell the rod, spoil the child. And ain't no rod getting spared around here. I believe in whooping that ass, okay? J James! James! James, get your ass back here! James! So, I heard Dad is taking Gianna to Union Station. Apparently, it's like their getaway place. Like, that's not fair. I don't have a getaway place. I need a getaway place. Where's my getaway place? I know Ava told you about Ryan. You know? Of course. She's a snitch. She's not a snitch. Does a rat sound better? Dad, she can't help it. She's not a snitch. Am I really a snitch? By Gigi's definition, I am. An informer, a rat, a narc, a squealer, a tattletale, and a motor mouth. How about Google's definition? When Ryan called you the N-word. He didn't call me the N-word. He didn't drop the I-G-G-E-R, so why are you? Let's not misrepresent what Ryan called me. Words don't have power to hurt you unless the person saying them means something to you. I told you that. You taught us that, like five years ago. You made sure that we weren't alone, more like prepared. Shame on Ryan. He got mad, lost control, lost two friends. We come in pairs. Me and my snitch. She's not a snitch. You've been known Ryan for- Doesn't matter. Our friendship doesn't give him the green light to call me a, okay, the N word. Co-parenting two girls is challenging. I learn something new every day. Listening and understanding are so important. I remember telling them, shh, just listen to me. I freaked out. I got upset, angry. G was prepared for the moment. I prepared G for the N-word because I knew it was coming. She was prepared. She was ready. I wasn't. I'm a pop star, not a doctor. Got a sec. Casting's not easy. I thought you needed a sec. I'm sorry for calling you a rat. And a snitch. Right. And a motor mouth. Okay. Do you regret it? Exactly, which means you're not sorry. Are you? Am I what? A rat? A snitch? Of course, I'm 10. Are, are you serious? Championship game. Looks like you need an extension on your friendship with Ryan. Come on, Gianna. It's the last game. It's the end word. And I can't believe he called you that. Now, after this game, friendship's over. Over? Over. Never speaking to him again. To who? No, you don't have to do this. I don't? You might have a mom, she might be the bomb, but ain't nobody got a mom like mine. Hey, Ava, what are you working on?
Does it look hard? Yes. Let me see. It doesn't look that bad. I can try to help you, okay? Okay. <gasps> hey, how are you? It's nice meeting you. Who is that? It's our new mom. What? Dad? What? Dad, she's Asian. Shh, she's gonna hear That's you. a racist thing to say. It's not racist, just a fact. Besides, she could never be our real mom. Asian people adopt black people all the time. That's white people. Did you like the show? Yeah, you better hit that like button.